What's up everybody, Adam here. We're at the property. This is the lake that I like to fish in and this is the boat I use to catch my fish. So, we had a problem and the problem is this deck that we put in isn't really sealed the best. So when it starts raining and stuff, the boat starts to fill up with water. So basically what we had to do is literally back my car down here and pull it up off the shore because the drain plugs at the bottom in the back. It took a while and I'd rather just not have to do that. So what we did was we put in a bilge pump. So this is the Seaflow bilge pump. Basically what we did, we put this in here, grabbed some tubing, some hose clamps and a switch so we can go from having water in the boat to having no water in the boat. So let's see how it works. It's a lot easier and it's actually more satisfying just to sit here and flip a switch and watch all that water go out. So this is just gonna get me to the trails or on the lake a lot faster, which is awesome. So basically work smarter, not harder, right? And that's what the uh, bilge pump's gonna do for me. So. You can either use this in a live well, you can use it with just getting water out of your boat. There's a lot of different applications that you can do. It is gonna be sealed, so keeping it out of the elements isn't really something you need to do. So it's a sealed system and it primes on its own, which is nice. And that's a decent amount of water flow, about 12 gallons per minute. So if this thing's completely full, It'll probably only take a minute or two to get it all pumped out. And that gets me pretty pumped. Notice how we have a decent amount of stuff in our boat. Well, we don't really have to put like a screen on this hose or anything because the inside of the pump has a chopper in there. So it's going to kind of chop that up. If you're using it for a live well, it's going to take care of all of those fish scales and stuff like that. So you really don't have to protect it. It protects itself from the elements. It's a submergible pump if you really wanted to do it that way. But all in all, it's kind of a easy installation. You don't really have to worry about anything. You just put it where water is and it gets rid of it. Well, just like that. I mean, there's a little bit of water left in there, but that's not gonna make us sink so that's really awesome literally took maybe 50 seconds a little under a minute to get all that water out and trust me there's a lot of water in there so that's really nice just so we can get out on the boat that's literally what it's all comes down to that's why we have a boat so this way we can just get on and catch some fish a little bit quicker our pump's going to be ran by 12 volts so we want to make sure that we're not pumping 115 or 120 volts to this thing for 12 volt DC systems. And it's gonna pump 12 gallons per minute. So what kind of helps that happen is just a big in, inlet and outlet. So this is gonna one, just prevent clogging from whatever's in your boat or whatever's in your RV's tank when it comes to your sewage and stuff like that. So we don't really want this thing to clog and it's not going to. It does have a steel blade which is stainless steel, so it's gonna reduce the risk of that stuff really clumping it up, which is always a plus. And that's basically it. You just gotta bolt it on to install it. You gotta hook it up to a 12 volt DC battery. But one thing I would definitely do is just grab a switch just so you can turn it on and off whenever you want. Well, that's basically it. If you guys are like me and you like to work smarter, not harder, grab yourself a pump for your boat so you don't gotta do what I did because it's all about fishing. So that's what I'm gonna do. If you guys wanna see exactly how I installed it earlier today, you just stick around. We'll show you exactly how we did it. First things first, let's figure out where we're putting this thing. So. I might get fancy with it later and actually mount it underneath our deck, but just so you guys can see what's going on, I'm just gonna mount it right here for right now. It does not come with any hardware, so you're gonna have to source that out yourself. Basically what I'm doing is just grabbing some self-tappers to run them through, get it nice and square. And just install all four sides.
One thing I recommend is putting a switch in line with this. So pretty much we're gonna go from the positive lead of the battery to one side of our switch. And then the positive from our pump, I'm gonna put a little terminal on here, crimp it down just so we don't want this pump to pump all the time. It's just whenever it kind of rains. The deck that we put on this thing, it just doesn't keep all that water out. And the bad thing that we're used to doing is literally just pulling this boat out and then pulling the drain plug and waiting 10 minutes. I'd rather just get on the boat, flip a switch, and let the water go. So that's what we're doing here. So with the switch, we're gonna be able to turn it on and off. I am gonna make this a lot cleaner later on, but just to give you an idea, we're basically going from positive lead of our battery to one side and then the positive from our pump on the other. And if you are looking for a ring terminal or a switch, we have all that at e-trailer. So we have a lot of different switches. I just went with this one just because I knew I was going to put it on the outside of this battery box. So let me kind of line this stuff up and put it in. I hope you guys can see, but you get the gist of it. I'm going to put this in, screw it down, and we're going to be good to go. Now that the switch is all wired up, and again, I'm gonna make this pretty later, but now, since it's off, we can go ahead and kind of connect these. It shouldn't turn on. So we'll see if I did it right or not. I'm confident. So there's the negative side. And then for the positive side, it shouldn't turn on when I touch this. All right, so far so good. There we go. And now let's just make sure that it's working properly. Cool. One thing that we do not have for you guys on our website is the tubing, just because it's a little big for what we usually use with water pumps. So for the outlet, we're gonna have about an inch inner diameter for the inlet gonna have an inch and a half inner diameter. So just go to your local hardware store and grab whatever pipe's gonna fit you. Depending on where you're putting it, it's gonna depend on how much you're really gonna need. But once you do that, you can get some hose clamps from us and basically just put it on, just make sure it's nice and tight and tighten them all down. Well, problem solved. Now I don't have to pull the boat out and take the drain plug out and it's gonna take about 10 minutes. With this, it'll take a flip of the switch and maybe a minute or two to pump all this water out and then I can get on the water. So that was the goal and that's basically it for a look at the Seaflow bilge pump for your boats, RVs, or anything else.